This is Kristen, also known as MC Router. She's an internationally recognized rapper who's notorious for being promiscuous and chugging a case of beer on stage at every performance. This is Abby. She's a devout Muslim, speaks fluent Arabic, doesn't drink alcohol, abstains from sex, and prays five times a day. Now, it may seem like they have nothing in common, right? Well, they do. Actually, they are the same person. Almost two years ago, Kristen converted to Islam and changed her name to Abby, actually Abida. Her mother, Darlene, says Kristen, who she refuses to call Abby, has not only turned her back on her family with her new Islamic beliefs, but on America as well. She's worried her daughter may turn into a terrorist. Take a look. My daughter has quit speaking to me because I don't accept her religion. I grew up as a Southern Baptist in Texas. I reverted to Islam in 2012. I changed my name to Abida a week after I became Muslim. It means worshiper of God. My mother, she refuses to call me anything but Christian. When I see Christian being Muslim, I think about Al-Qaeda, terrorist bombings, Osama bin Laden. I never hear anything positive about them, ever. My mother is very ignorant. She has like no qualms about being racist. I have gay friends, a lot of gay friends. I know they, they have some problems sometimes with gay bashing and everything, but you've never heard of a gay man getting another gay man to strap a bomb to his chest and walk in a mall. I'm Muslim and not all Muslims are terrorists. Kristen's been totally brainwashed by these people. She got rid of her clothes. She only wears the scarf, the long dresses. I choose to wear hijab because it promotes modesty and it's pleasing to Allah. She has taken everything American out of her house and replaced it with Saudi Arabia flags. She goes to the stores that sell the food, the kind of rice and bread and everything to eat. That's all she eats basically now. I love the Saudi coffee so much. I think that they have a hidden agenda for her because of the way things are progressing so quickly. She said they buy me expensive stuff. They have lambs slaughtered for her and bring to her a whole lamb, like chopped up for her to eat. I mean, that's like a ritual to them. I pray a lot that she's going to see what she's doing and step out of it because I've lost my daughter to this religion. Well, Abby says becoming Muslim is a much safer choice than her previous profession. Kristen used to be a pretty famous rapper. I got popular enough doing the MC Router stuff that someone made a Wikipedia for me. I got invited to play shows in Holland and Europe. I did a West Coast tour, played Whiskey A Go-Go, where the Doors and Guns N' Roses have performed. I'm going to destroy every part of my PC. I was really proud of her. I would tell her all the time, Krista, I think this is what you were meant to do. When I was performing as MC Router, I came very close to being an alcoholic. My stick for my stage performance was that people would bring me beer. My sets would be an hour and I could knock out 24 beers in the set. People came to see me get drunk. She was never an alcoholic or even near an alcoholic at all. And I wouldn't know because I've been in the medical field for my entire life. I pick up on drugs, um, alcohol. I work for a treatment center and I pick up on it really fast. But she posted a lot of it on the internet, some very provocative things on the internet. On stage, it was very vulgar and R-rated. I would make out with random fans on stage. I would spit beer on people in the front row. I was sleeping with random fans or club owners. And I'm shocked that nothing bad happened to me that could have from that. After I became Muslim, I had to stop drinking. I had to stop having promiscuous sex. I spend my time reading the Quran and praying on a constant basis. Alhamdulillahi MC Router is the complete opposite of who I am today. I believe that her being a rapper is much, much safer than her being a Muslim. No one's going to attack her or coerce her to do something she doesn't want to do because she's rapping and having a rapper's lifestyle. Now, Darlene hasn't seen her daughter in over a year, uh, so she's coming out now. Hi, well, Sassy. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Right here. 
sorry. Oh, wow. That is so interesting. You haven't seen your daughter in a year. And I actually stepped way out to greet you so I could get out of the way so you could see your daughter for the first time in a year. And you haven't looked at her yet. I can't. You haven't seen her in a year. This is your child, and she's right in front of you. She doesn't look like my daughter. <laughs> really? I mean, it's, 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 it hurts me to see her like this because she looks nothing like my daughter. She's changed a lot. How, how, do you, how do you feel? Did you find that odd? Uh, yeah, it's really strange. But you haven't seen her in a year, and she comes out and won't look at you till I make her? I'm the same person inside. It's just I've changed things in my life for the better. So she should be happy. I think any parent would be happy if their kid went from drinking and partying and sleeping around to being a more mature, not drinking, healthier person. What is it that she's doing now that you object to? She's changed her whole life. She sees, she does not see any of her old friends that are, I would say, American. She only hangs out with the Arab community. And you're saying you don't want to be around those people because you're afraid that there's going to be some type of terrorist activity. Well, I think unintentionally. I think unintentionally with her only hanging around with them and they give her a lot of attention. They buy her expensive <clears throat> gifts. It's like they're just like bringing her more and more in. You think they're grooming her into a cult. Exactly. That's exactly what I believe. That's and what you think. She's being, she's being groomed. Yes. Especially with the skills that she has about the computer. She's a very good shooter. Guns. Uh, she speaks three languages. And you say she drives around with an I heart Saudi Arabia sticker on her car, and you're afraid somebody's going to, like, shoot her or Absolutely. run off the road. All right, well, here's what she says. She, she says that you have turned your back on America. You've taken down the American flags, now only Saudi Arabia flags. She says that... You, you say Islam is 110% conviction where you need to be in your beliefs. And uh, she's concerned you, you've gone too far. What do you say to her about her fear? She thinks you're going to become a terrorist. I, I mean, are you, <laughs> no, are you I, looking to be a terrorist? No, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I understand what... Uh, kind of information she gets from about Islam based on the media um, and, and movies and TV shows and things like that. But um, she, that's the problem. She won't take time to look at what is really Islam and how peaceful the religion is. You think somebody's going to hurt her or you think she's going to get swept up in some movement and do something terrible? Exactly. That's what I believe well, is, is going to happen. Both? It's both. <laughs> really? So you, you really equate Muslims with terrorists? Well, I do, and, and I'm, not, I'm not a stupid person. I mean, when I look things up on the Internet, I'm not looking for the bad things I do. I'm just looking at general things, you know? And there's more bad things that I see than there are good things that I see. I think it's a cult. I think they, they bring people into it because she's been given so much attention from these people. All right, well, coming up, is Abby just going through a phase? Darlene says you wouldn't believe some of the other phases her daughter has gone through. Well, let's find out what those are when we come back.